There we go. Simple cooking techniques transformed into what some say is the food of the future with 3D printing. So we are going back to the time where microwaves arrived to the kitchen and people were saying, I'm not going to eat up my food in a microwave because I just don't understand it. So it's a different technology, but it's the same concept. Once your mind allows it to be part of your kitchen, you will be able to print your food. Presenters at a 3D food printing conference in the Netherlands are hoping cooks will have an appetite for food created with 3D printers. They say the food, often culinary works of art, are more than just visually appealing. If someone has a deficiency in vitamin D, you can add some vitamin D. If someone has another deficiency, maybe they eat not enough, you can add some energy in form of proteins or fat. Or people who are obese or have overweight, you can increase the fiber so they um, get, feel full faster. And what at first glance looks like caviar is actually fruit gelatin. The spheres, they are processed with nothing more than vegetables and fruit. The agar-agar is the binding material for the consistency we need. With, with this recipe, we can actually reach a big range of people. We can reach high quality restaurants because it's very attractive. We can reach elderly people because it's very easy to chew. And we can reach children which don't eat their vegetables. Some confectioners already use 3D printing, but it still has a ways to go before it shows up in kitchens around the world. A process that may just need more time to marinate. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.